Hmm? Oh. Hello there, little one. What are you doing out here so late? You know... There's supposed to be a storm tonight. If you don't return home soon, you're very likely to freeze to death. Can't you understand what I'm saying to you? Go home. What's with that look? Do you... Do you not have a home to go back to? Oh. Poor thing. All right. Come here. No, no, no. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I promise. I'm going to take you inside with me. Keep you nice and warm until we can find you a suitable home. Goodness. You're shivering. Alright. Please don't scratch me. I have to tuck you under my shirt, okay? It's to keep you warm and keep you hidden. If someone sees me with you... They won't let you come inside. Hold still now. Uh, no, no. Don't scratch me. Don't scratch me. I'm trying to help you, okay? That's it. Just relax. We'll take you out of there soon, I promise. All right, we're almost inside. Stay still and stay quiet. That's it. That's a good kitty. All right. Just need to get to my room. Okay. You're free to go. It's okay. I know this is a new environment, but you don't need to be afraid. I promise you're safe here. No harm will come to you. <laughs> I see you're already making yourself at home. I'm sure my bed is more comfortable than the ground you were sleeping on before. Here. Let me tuck you in. You're still shaking. You're very affectionate, aren't you? How cute. You know... You kind of remind me of... one of my old comrades. I don't remember much about them. They kept to themselves often. Much like I did at the time. Hell, I still do that. I remember... They used to wear this... hat all the time. Unless, of course, it was raining and we had to wear ponchos. Even then, they always kept their head covered. They always kept their hood up. Always had a hat on. It was rather odd. Just as I did, they would skip out on training sessions. Only hand-to-hand -hand combat, of course, as it didn't count against our final grade. Hey, are you okay? Oh, of course, you must be hungry. Look... Don't go spreading word of this to the other cats, but I do keep some food here, just in case something like this ever happens. 
This is the first time I've brought a cat in. You're lucky. This means I haven't given out any of the food. It's all for you. Here. Eat up. Goodness. You really were hungry, huh? It's okay. There's plenty more where that came from. Gosh. Thinking back to training... It stirs up... painful memories. Ones that are... quite recent, actually. It pains me to dwell upon them. I remember... Waking up that night, after the Trost campaign, I jolted awake because I could hear him screaming, crying out for our help, begging me to stop. He was afraid. He was begging. He was willing to forget it all. Uh. Sorry. For a moment, I... I forgot you were there. Funny how that happens, huh? Especially with quiet companions. Even when those companions are human. It's so easy to forget they're there. Why are you looking at me like that? It's almost like you... want me to continue. I... I guess it would do me some good to... talk about it. And... You're a cat. It's not like you can tell anyone about what I say. It's my fault that he's dead. It's all my fault. I... I was weak. I listened to what they were saying, because they were threatening my father and threatening me, but I didn't care about that, no. I only cared about what would happen to my father. Reiner and Berthold. They broke through those walls. And on that day in Trost, Bertolt took the form of the Colossal Titan. And he broke through that wall too. When Aaron was going to plug up the hole, Reiner and Bertolt were Discussing aloud, in open view of everyone else, whether or not they should allow it to happen. I don't know if they expected a different ending, if they expected that no one would come looking for them, but Marco found them. He overheard what they were saying and tried to leave. They told him it was a joke. He was willing to believe it, as long as it meant that he got to live. But they soon realized that 
He was too smart for that lie. He would surely tell someone. Reiner held him back. All I can remember, aside from his screaming and crying, when I showed up, all I can remember is Reiner yelling at me, saying that it was the only way to prove that my loyalty and my father's loyalty still belonged to our cause. It was the only way to prove that I was still willing to help them steal Aaron's power. I couldn't just... My father's safety has always been what drove me. And for a while, I thought my actions didn't matter. That he'd be fine no matter what I did. But then, when Reiner started threatening him, I... I started fumbling with the straps on Marco's ODM gear. I was unfastening them, and I was slowly removing his gear. All the while, my hands were shaking, because he was screaming, he was crying, he was begging me to stop. We pushed him down onto the ground and we watched as he was found and devoured by a titan. All the while, he was screaming. He was calling out to us begging us to help him. Did we? No. I certainly couldn't have. My father's life was on the line. No matter what, someone was going to die. I just... wanted it to be someone I wasn't as close to. Someone I didn't care about as much. It's all my fault that Marco's dead. I... I'm not even surprised that his screams and pleas for help still haunt my dreams. I wake up in a cold sweat every night. I can't get his voice out of my head. Or still. When I wake up, it's dark. So I can still see. Against the shadows. His eyes. Brimming with tears. Swimming with betrayal and fear and utter hopelessness. I'm the reason his final moments were so wretched. It's all my fault. Hey. Hey, what's wrong with you? Why are you making those sounds? Oh no, you're not going to be sick, are you?
you. It's... You? How did you... 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 Were willing... You were willing to let me get in trouble for bringing you here. When you could have easily returned to a... Human form. And gone elsewhere? You could have sought shelter yourself. You didn't need my help. What purpose did coming here serve you? What? What do you mean, you're sorry? No. No, you're not talking about that. If you were talking about the inconvenience that this was to me, you wouldn't sound so... forlorn. Why are you sorry? No. No, you can't say that. You can't tell me that you only came here to find out if... if their suspicions were correct. No, you can't say that. I already told you. Because if you say that, it means you're my enemy. If you say that, I'm going to have to kill you. Exactly. Just like I killed Marco. Your screams will haunt me too. But I won't care. I told you. My father's safety is what matters to me. Unless you can ensure that? You aren't getting out of here alive. Not with this information. Really? You think that you can outrun me? All right. Give it a shot, then. We'll see how far you can make it. <laughs>